Hello everyone, Vita's Day 32 back with some mail to start off the week. This is from Kickstarter and it is from Arcadia Playing Cards. Oops, I'm a little bit crooked here. The very new uh, classic decks basically. The uh, Harmony Backs. Very nice. And yeah, I look forward to checking them out, review them in the coming months. And that is it for today. I don't know if there's something else coming via courier or not. We'll see. If not, we'll see if it comes tomorrow. So stay tuned for more. Hello everyone, this is a pretty back with some more mail today. Um, the package that was pretty good. It came from this is from CC and I teach which cost me a lot more than it would have liked to get the shipping. It was either I get it shipped direct from them, which would have been expensive, or ship it to a lease shipper in London, which is what I did, and go from there, but it still ended up being expensive. And it is this, it's the Bicycle Tracer. So we get, hang on. There it is. Uh, Tracer, by the way, means cheater in French, and it's made with British magician Maurice Duda. A little bit of damage on the tuckers, but it is what it is. It is, you might find it on eBay, but it's going to be pricey because it's going to be from a reseller who probably got it from the same website I did, so it's a lose lose situation. I kind of regret getting it, but it is what it is. It is a fairly standard deck, FYI. It's made for magician. So, yeah, stay tuned for a review on this, and we'll see you next time more. Thanks for watching. Hello, everyone. These are for you back with some. Mail. This is from Illusionist. Nice to see them using actual normal envelopes for their chains. This is a mystery deck. I'm not sure what it is. I'm hoping it's not what I just ordered on the website after this. Which is a crossed keys deck, which is from Magician. I don't remember which one. We'll find out here. It is not a crossed keys deck. It is, is this, whatever this is, I, no idea, it just says illusionist on it, interesting, interesting, let's open it up, shall we, because I'm intrigued, and why not, I don't do this enough, it's a standard feeling tough case. I'm going to buy a card of Moon Day, because the cards are cellophane, as you can see. And uh, the inside's got a bunch of symbols on it, which is interesting. I'll look at that closer when I do the re eventual review. Interesting thing about losing about card of Moon Day decks, to get them out of the cellophane, just crack them open. I discovered that recently. Pretty cool. So, very interesting about this on the very, very thin. It's got like a skull motif. Get that on the ace of spades as well. And, uh, barely standard number cards. They've modified all the aces. They customized all the aces and they modified the court cards. So, there's a little quick review it's uh interesting no idea what to call it <laughs> because it doesn't have a name on it that i can tell so yeah that is it for today stay tuned for this review coming up soon enough i think i don't recall exactly when i have a schedule but it is what it is stay tuned i have another one from illusionist coming probably later this week which is at cross keys jack so that is that Stay tuned for more. Hello everyone, this is a free to back here with some more mail today. First of all, I got something that I'm pretty excited about from TCC Presents.com, TCC Playing Cards. It is the Tallyho uh, Mika Mika from uh, Tomohiro Maeda. Nice metallic ink, red and blue decks. A little bit pricey, but I've wanted these for a long time ever since I've seen them. 
uh, a couple years ago 2016 they came out and uh yeah very nice Maida. I like I like a style and deck circle back style hill circle back it's my favorites one of my favorite designs in case you're wondering and you know I never thought I was gonna be able to get this because they never show up anywhere and then all of a sudden I go on TCC's playing uh, TCC's website and I see that they have Maida decks and I'm like really <laughs> okay sold on top of that they sent sponge balls free a free gift I didn't have any at least not in a long time I used to have a magic kit when I was a kid so it's kind of cool get some sponge balls now I just need some cups <laughs> and I also got um, the latest miscellaneous goods company deck the sunrise it's a yellowy color as you can see I don't know if you can see the tuck box but it's embossed and foiled uh review for this one currently planned for early september these other ones in a couple of days probably by the time this video is up so that is that stay tuned for more i not sure if there's any more coming in the next couple of days we'll see stay tuned hello everyone video today pretty too my hair is kind of weird <laughs> messy i don't know why but anyways it's time for some more mail uh, first of all, I got some stuff here from the, uh, what do I call it? 52 plus Joker. There is the Clear the Decks book for the month of June. Uh, check out the convention if you want to go. It's coming this year in Niagara Falls, New York. October 20th to 23rd. Uh, I won't be there unfortunately <laughs> and uh, the other one is they, they also sent a special edition of clear the deck so and of course it's a Jackson Robinson ad on the back what you get in the books is just all sorts of information about different decks from different time periods I actually got a bunch of modern ones in this one that's kind of cool actually that's really cool This is a 21st century playing card design uh, piece of information. Uh, but usually the books are a little bit more vintage themed, but yeah, these are pretty modern. So yeah, pretty cool. And then I got one from Kickstarter, from Curious Cask, their first decks. There is an extra deck the whiskey on the rocks I don't condone drinking but enjoy it in quantities and you know don't drink and drive and stuff like that and they also sent although it's got some damage to it I don't know what the heck happened there it looks like somebody tried to bite it <laughs> it's a uh, collector's box and inside if I can freaking open it inside is the complete set of decks and it says on there refined stories boldly told and you got the red one which is the neat the blue one which is the water and the on the rocks in yellow the blue one has holographic foil on the cards and also on the tuck case the yellow one has embossing on the tuck case and the red one so embossing and it's a, more of a matte stock while this one's more of a standard finish it or it's a soft touch i guess so yeah, pretty interesting. The backs, I I already. Let's look at the holographic one. It looks like horseshoes, <laughs> kind of. I guess it's a double C for curious cask is what it is, but it kind of looks like a horseshoe. So very nice. Of course, special thanks to Curious Cask or Legends, whoever it was that sent me this. Uh, collector set box and the extra deck because I didn't pledge for that I only pledged for one deck of each so uh, much appreciated and that is that will I get anything tomorrow who the heck knows I, I'm not sure if there's anything that's going to show up tomorrow maybe maybe we'll see what happens 
So stay tuned if anything else shows up. If not, we'll see you next time. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe.